1874, Ellen Gorganowicz decided, you know what? I've had enough of this nonsensical sidewalk bullshit. I'm taking my cycle to the streets. And that's just what she did. And driving the city has sucked ever since. I'll start by saying that this episode is just going to be a compilation of all the experiences I've had as a driver in the city of Chicago. Um, I live in Oak Park, so it doesn't really apply to me here, but in the city, it really does. Uh, so I understand that everyone's individual, and they should be judged accordingly. And this is just going to be a generic blanket statement that's get thrown over the entire uh, bike driving public. But people on bikes suck because they think the rules don't apply to them when they should. And I commend people on bikes. Like, I, like kudos to you, man. I'm waiting to stick it to the gas company and the insurance company. And parking. Ugh. You just get to throw your bike at something and throw a chain at it and you're fine. I have to go circle, <laughs> circle around a block for 20 minutes. But I really think that if you're going to be on the road with me, you should have to abide by the same rules I do. Regardless of if I'm in a car and you're on a bike, it doesn't matter. We're still driving on the street, technically. Now, I found two articles online that are basically going to be the meat of this episode. And uh, Akbar is going to read what the articles are, and I'm going to basically respond to them. Nine things drivers need to stop saying in the bikes versus cars debate. Now, I'm only going to respond to two of these because the rest of them are just grasping at straws harder than I've ever seen anyone grasp at straws. But, uh, those two, I'm gonna reply the shit out of. Cyclists are always breaking the law. All right, now they basically go on to say that, yeah, occasionally we bend the law, but who doesn't? Motorists sure do. They do ba da da ba da 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 ba da da and names a bunch of things that don't necessarily apply to what we're talking about, or at least what I'm talking about. So, I might be approaching this from a, a bad angle, but the ratio, from my experience, of cars to bikes that won't stop at stoplights or stop signs is a thousand to one. Like motorists decided to not stop at stoplights or stop signs as frequently as bikes don't do the, either one of those things. Everybody would be dead. Roads are designed for cars. Yeah, well, in Chicago, they're not. According to Jesse White, the Secretary of State, and his rules of cycling road, you have to follow the same rules I do. You have to stop at stop signs and stop at stop lights. Use your signal, but he also says you have to have a bell that can be heard from a hundred feet away. I guarantee none of you fuckers have that shit. Also, I'd love to hear a bell that could be heard from 100 feet away. Another article covered a protest of hundreds, and they said hundreds, of cyclists that were obeying the rules of the road and basically just caused a big traffic jam. Yeah, fine. Fuck. It's the same thing. It's happening now, except for all cars. It's cars and bikes. Not to mention in the city... There, that shit wouldn't necessarily happen because there's a bike lane and you could kind of go when cars go and you could time shit accordingly. I, it's, <sighs> listen, I want you guys on the road because you should have equal time on the road and I want you to be safe, but I also want you guys to obey the rules. Like, not the pole some weird, I don't even know what car this would be, but I'm pulling it. We live in a society, and as a society, we should all band together and make it something that's not chaos. Just consuming the streets. And although this might be a weird com like complaint, because it's not that big a deal, it doesn't really affect my life that much, but when I see, when I stop at a stop sign, and I see a biker just go, oh, fuck you! It's it's such a slap in the face. It's like, 
why should I respect you on the street if you're not going to respect the rules of the road that I have to abide? And technically, you're supposed to as well. And to get a little bit morbid about it, if I'm in an intersection and I stop at the stop sign like I'm supposed to, and you don't, and I hit you and kill you, then I've killed a person because they don't want to abide by the rules of the road, which is so stupid. And again, if you're a cyclist and we're good friends and this upsets you, I apologize. But until shit changes, I'm going to treat you like the bratty children that you're acting like. Yeah. Kind of a negative episode. But hey, you know, we got some uh, got some time left. Let's cleanse the old palate with the Game of Thrones theme song that I wrote lyrics for. It talks about Jeter, our cat, licking pork grease off his face for a minute and a half straight. Mixed with drone footage I shot today. Which didn't end well. Science fiction. <laughs> Now it's a bird's eye Trees and sidewalk and trees and sidewalk Trees and side Jeter still has pork chop grease on his face Has a greasy face, has a greasy face, has a greasy face Has a same school, but from a different school From a different view school, from a different view Jeter can't seem to get the pork chop grease off his face. Greasy face has a greasy face, 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 has a that's pretty cool. Jeter has grease. Jeter, drunken Jeter, drunken Jeter, drunken 